guys, welcome to back to another video. And um, this one's actually a quick one, and uh, it's um, it's to do with the video doorbell systems. And uh, just had a few inquiries about uh, how we can integrate a doorbell camera into the home center and uh, get it all working together without having too too much messing around. I've been playing with the Ring doorbell, and I have been trying with the Ring doorbell. And it's been a hit and miss, to be honest. Um, it's worked a couple of times, but other times it hasn't worked. But uh, someone uh, suggested um, Hick Vision doorbells, so I've been taking a look into that. And uh, that's what I'm here to show you because uh, I've got it done. It's all working. So, uh, first things first, just take a look at the video. And on there you'll see the Hick Vision doorbell itself and the screen that comes with it. You do have to have the screen that goes with it, so you can uh, so you can an answer it from inside. So, take a look at that video, and um, and then I'll be back to show you how I've integrated it in the home center as well. Back in a second. So here we have the Hick Vision video doorbell. So here's the fully installed, as you can see. Uh, it uses a network cable, and just need to just press this button and it will then dial out effectively to the phone itself or to the in-screen uh, screen on the inside which I'm going to show you in a second what I've also done um, which I'll show you in a bit is connected it to the home center as well so it also rings my uh, doorbell 6 so that's um, what it looks like from the outside now let's take a look at the screen so this is the screen, uh, the Hick Vision. So I've decided to put it just below the iPad tap, and it uh, it, uh, it it opens up. So by just clicking on that, the screen will go to sleep, but it also goes to sleep after about a minute anyway. Um, some icons up here, but I've hardwired this because it's a PoE switch. So rather than using the Wi-Fi. And then all we do from here, if I had other stations in, I could easily do direct dial between the stations. Um, and this button here is our live view. So if I click on that and, um, oh, sorry, it's that one. It does the live view instead. So that's our live view. And then of course I've got the optional um, opening up the doors one and two, but at the moment I've got nothing connected to it. And if I wanted to speak to them, just press that and we can hear and speak to what's going on. This door station also beeps. Um, it will also beep if somebody presses the doorbell from the outside. So we can actually talk to them from in this unit or any other units that are installed in the property uh, as well as the mobile phone. Now I'm going to go back to the desktop. Right, so you've now seen how um, how it's all installed and it's a straightforward installation, everything's PoE just like all the cameras are as well. The only difference is as before we need to make sure it's all on the network so we can then allocate um, an IP address. Not only could we actually add the, the doorbell as a camera onto the uh, Hikvision system, um, we could then do some integration now unfortunately the doorbell camera it doesn't do an mjpeg it only does h264 so unfortunately we can't do a direct camera integration within the home center however the good thing is we can um attach uh, a sensor to the home center sorry attach a sensor to the recorder now if you look back on my videos that i did uh, uh, using a smart implant with a network video recorder for alarm inputs. We're using the same feature. The difference is we're now going to set the doorbell up. So whenever the, somebody rings the doorbell, not only do we get the alert on our mobile so we can talk to them or on the on-screen display, we can talk to them and answer. We're also going to be setting a trigger using a, a smart implant or a universal binary sensor which then triggers a the scene. So what I've done here, um, you can see NVR doorbell switch. So just like before, we while we attached our sensor cables onto the back of the alarm 
outputs of the NVR. I've done that on uh, output one and set it so that every time somebody presses the doorbell, it triggers this and um, therefore the home center receives it and it then for me personally it triggers my uh, a scene which activates my doorbell six that i've got so i get my ding dong sound so not only do i have a doorbell sound coming on my property so i also got my notifications on my phone so it means that whoever else is in the house they can still answer the door and hear the doorbell okay um, so that was that just to show you how it works and how the integration works and to know that it's all doable and uh, and pretty straightforward to do so um, any questions comments as usual leave them in the uh, section below um, if you haven't already subscribed please do and don't forget to tick the bell icon so you can be alerted to more of these videos and uh, hopefully soon I'm going to start um, doing some more videos on the Home Center 3. So everything that I did for the Home Center 2, I should uh, be starting to make the equivalent Home Center 3 videos so that you can see it all working on a Home Center 3 as well. So until, uh, until we meet again, um, bye for now. Thank you for watching.